What's up, dude and dudettes of YouTube? This is Arv coming at you with another Arv Gaming Guide. Um, before I get into this one, just once again, want to thank everybody for all the positive responses I've been getting on the Feral and the Balance video. Um, it's been unreal, actually, for me as a small YouTuber. I'm just so, so happy that I'm getting the attention that I am, and it's just super incredible. So thank you guys very much for all the positivity and all the comments and all the discussions and everything. It's been great. I've been having a lot of fun. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my UI and my UI components. Um, so we'll just get into it here really quick. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up a uh, my add-ons thing here. So my add-ons control panel is literally called add-on control panel. So this in itself is its own add-on and then this gives me a list of all the add-ons that I actually currently have installed. So all the ones I'm using right now, I have Addy Bags. It's my bag mod, which you will see here. Uh, it is currently locked in place where it is, but if you right click up top, you'll open up this little green anchor square and you can just uh, kind of pull it around, move wherever you want, right click, and then it'll lock in place there again. Um, I used to use Bagnon for my bags, but I find that this actually uh, organizes my bags a lot better than Bagnon did. Um, if you press this, you can reset new items. So if you pick something up off the ground that you didn't have in your bag or it's new, it'll pop up in like a new category and it'll be all like bright and shiny. And then you can press this and it'll just reset and sort everything. Uh, if you press this, it'll just sort what you have in your inventory. Kind of like so. So I have all my armor here jewelry, right? I have my balance set armor, my resto set armor, my tank set armor, right? Weapons, enchantments, all that stuff, all my trade skill stuff. So it's all super organized, really nice, easy to find what I'm looking for quickly. Uh, Altaholic is just a alt manager add-on, but that's not something you guys saw in my video, but I do have it. I have all the things, but I don't have it enabled at this point in time. And if you guys aren't sure what all the, what all the, all the things is is well all the things is an add-on about all the things in world of warcraft <laughs> so you if you go to a zone this add-on will tell you everything that drops there it'll tell you everything you need to do in the zone to essentially 100 percent that zone and if you do that in all the zones then you could potentially 100 percent percent the game but there are things in the game now that you can't get that you could get before so it's not totally possible to 100 percent the game anymore but you can get pretty darn close and this is the best add-on to help you get there uh bad boy i forget what bad boy oh yeah bad boy is my chat filter for uh i'm i play on illidan server so like our chat's really really spammy so i got bad boy for that uh big wigs is like a deadly boss mods uh, I changed I changed out my deadly boss mods for big wigs and BFA just because I didn't like the audio cues in uh, deadly boss mods having it used it for shit almost six or seven years it just I just got sick of the audio cues and all that kind of stuff the runaway little girl runaway thing it just got annoying so I use big wigs it takes up uh, less pr like actual processing in my game uh, like my background stuff. It only uses like 226 kilobytes. Uh, so yeah, I use that. Blizz Move uh, just allows you to move all the things, like all your uh, windows for Blizzard. Now I have the L UI, so you can't really see the Blizzard windows. But if I did, you'd be able, I'd be able to move them. Block Chinese is just another chat thing. Capping is this little thing you see here. It's for my, it's for my battlegrounds. It's like a capture timer and that kind of thing. Coordinates is a map add-on, so I have this part here right under my mini-map. It tells me coordinates of where I am and then it'll also just tell me coordinates here as well. So like it'll tell me my player coordinates here and then my cursor coordinates here. So just a quality of life thing in my opinion really. Uh, data store. Uh, forget what this is for. Deja character stats. Uh, from my first video, I was talking about Deja character stats. And what Deja character stats is, is it's just this here. This part here where we could unlock and look at more particular stats. Right? It's just this add on. 
going back into uh, details is my damage meters. So uh, with mine, I have two damage meters open, and I just like throw them up at the top of the screen. So I usually have healing done, and then damage done, or like DPS. Sometimes if the group's wiping a lot, or if we don't know why we're dying, or if I'm not too sure who keeps dying and like what keeps happening, I will go here and, and go to like damage taken. And here you can kind of tell what's happening to who. So if someone's standing in the bad, they'll have a lot of damage from the bad and you can just tell them to be like, hey, stop standing in the bad. Piece of shit. Okay. Um, Drainer Treasures is just, uh, tells you where all the treasures are in Drainer. Dynamic Cam is a add-on that allows you to off-center your camera. Um, I left it just at default. I don't actually use it. I was using it for a while, and then I just reverted it all back to default. I wasn't a huge fan. LVUI is what changes everything here, and I'm going to get a little more into LV LVUI throughout the rest of the video. Uh, handy Notes just gives you uh, icons on the map. Immersion is an add-on that just gives your character chats and your quest chats a little more immersion. Little wigs is like big wigs but for dungeons instead of raids. Mapster is just my map at, my map add-on. Um, mask is for LVI for skins. Paku totems is uh, these little blue flight points on my map and my Minimap are the Paku totems. If you chose the the Paku when you were leveling up to fly around, Tip Tac. Uh, I forget what this is. Oh, Tip Tac is uh my if I hover over something, you'll see like the training dummy thing pop up right here. That that yeah, it just gives you kind of more of a little bit of an in depth idea of what you're looking at at first. So if you like highlight over a player, it'll tell you their level, their health, their spec, like their talents and stuff. Uh, Tom Tom is a GPS. It's like an arrow GPS for my map. I was using that when I was leveling. Trade skill info is part of Trade Skill Master, uh, and Trade Skill Master is a gold making add-on that I use when I sell stuff on the auction house. It works really really well. If you guys want me to do a, more of a tutorial on Trade Skill Master, I can. Uh, weak auras is another fundamental part of my UI. The weak auras is this box here that you see. That tracks kind of my cooldowns and some of my timers here as well as my uh, uh, resource. And then world quest tracker just uh, tracks world quests. So if I open the map like so, you'll see this stuff here like that. And this is just the world quest tracker. So you can just highlight through here easily if you just want to find something in particular. Like a Tortalan Seeker's Quest, you can just click that, it'll highlight it, and then you can go to Zildazar, and you'll see it right here. So it just makes it easier to find stuff, really. It's another one of those quality of life things. And then these are all just Blizzard add-ons, just random Blizzard stuff. I don't think I actually installed these myself. And yeah, so that's the list of all the add-ons that I have. Now, I'll get into a little more on the settings on my LVI. So, on my LVI, what I have set up here, if you, uh, well, when you download and install LVI, and if you guys want, let me know in the comments below if you want a guide on how to install LVI and that kind of stuff, if you want. I'm not going to get too, too much into that here, but I will explain a little bit of how I have it set up. And as well, I will post uh, my um, export paste or my yeah my I will copy my export for you guys and put it in a paste bin is what I was trying to say okay so LVI here we go so here's the general right the action bars are like where I have my skills here now this here is an actual action bar so this isn't part of weak auras or anything like that this is an action bar that I just custom fit here, made a little bit bigger. The reason why I did this is because these are the primary skills that I want to be tracking all the time. Um, I was thinking about swapping out Shred for Thrash, 
However, I just got used to seeing shred there, and I, and I just got used to pressing Q to cast, and I just don't feel like changing the uh, hotkeys. So th that is actually a, a action bar, as well as these here, this cluster of stuff here, and this cluster of stuff here. This is an action bar as well. This isn't actually a class bar or a stance bar. I don't believe. But if we toggle the... Oh, okay, no, that is the stance bar. Okay. So we have my bar 1, my bar 2, bar 3, bar 5, and then bar 4. This is my player frame. This is my target frame. Uh, I put the target cast bar underneath so that it didn't block... Or so that the aura timer didn't block the target cast bar but I had to kind of shimmy up the target frame a little bit because of that uh, some of this stuff over here I'm still kind of undecided with a lot of them I don't have enabled currently um, however uh, these are my raid frames I do like to have the raid frames here my focus frame should actually be over here so I like to have my focus frame here and then my target to target over here. I'm not too sure why they were back over there. But I'm just going to move these back. Really quick, okay. Uh, so now the main thing was people wanted to know what it was on my UI that was tracking uh, my timers for things. So for things uh, for buffs and debuffs on the enemy. So above my player frame here, you'll see my buffs pop up. And above the enemy, you'll see all of my debuffs and anything that's stackable pop up there as well. Um, to make it like that, all you have to do is to go to your LVI. But what we want is unit frames, and we want to go to player frame. And where we actually want to go is to aura bars, or to aura bars. We're going to go here, and we're going to enable those. And then here we have a whole bunch of settings on where we want to attach them to. So I want to attach them to the frame of the player frame. I want the anchor point to be above. And then you can just kind of scale how big you want everything to be from here and then your offset your spacing and you can just kind of tailor it to make it uh, what's cosmetically pleasing to you I like kind of more of the just like a cleaner kind of standard UI I like to just have everything I need to look at in one spot and then try to have a fairly open screen otherwise um, if we go to our target frame we will go to the same place we're going to go to aura bars we're going to make sure that we enable those the anchor point is going to be above we're once again going to attach it to the frame and then from here you can just decide uh, how you want to customize it um, enemy aura type you want debuffs you don't want buffs you want to see debuffs because this is going to show you what so this will show you the bleed timers for instance Right, so like when you put rip on something, this will show you the rip above their name. If you turn that off to buffs, you'll just be seeing the buffs that those characters have. Which could be handy for other things as well. Don't get me wrong, it's not like it's pointless. It could it could be handy. Um, and then my weak auras. So that that's pretty much all I had for really what I got for the LVI. The LVI is a pretty standard kind of deal. I just moved everything around to kind of where I like it and just adjusted my action bars accordingly. Um, so now we will get into my weak auras. And in my weak auras, it's just this thing here. Once again, it tracks all of my uh, all my druid skills. I'm not going to get into all these particular skills, but all of this you, that you see here is what makes up this box. And this box will track all my stuff. It'll show me whatever resource I have here. It'll show me how much time I have left on a skill. So like if I close this, 
it will show me if I shift R. There we go. So it's showing me 17 seconds on my Berserk here, right? So it's showing me how much time I have left in Berserk. And then when my Berserk ends, what's going to happen is it's going to start showing me the cooldown for that. Okay, guys, if you're still watching the video, thank you so much. Um, I just want to show you guys how to import... Uh, my LVI string into your game so that you could just install LVI yourself, import my import string, and you would just be, like your UI would just pop up just like mine. All you would have to do is just fill your skills into your bars. So here's how you would do that. You would open your LVI, just press escape, press LVI, go to your profiles, and then you would want to go to import profile, and then you would just copy and paste here the uh, string that I give you. After that, you would just come out here. It would reset. It's going to reload your UI. I would recommend you reloading the UI one more time. And then your UI should be exactly as you see on my screen. Uh, you will you will have to do that for weak auras as well. And the way you do that is you just go into weak auras. You come here. You go to external. You just go to import and you copy. Oop, cop. Oh yeah, you just copy here. <laughs> you would just control V here. I can't type in this box though for some reason. But yeah, you would just control V, copy, press done, and your weak auras will pop up just like mine. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so thrilled to have you guys joining me on the channel, and I look forward to the long, for the entire length of BFA. I'm going to be making videos, and I'm just, I'm super stoked, and I'm really excited to keep creating for you guys. So, thank you so much again for the support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, and just one more thing before I actually end the video here. I was trying to export my weak auras and I couldn't find a way of exporting the weak auras so I did a little bit of research and apparently I can't export my profile myself the way that I can the LVI and I'm not really too sure how to do it but if you go to uh, wago.io it's like wago.io they have a whole bunch of really good weak aura uh, import strings you can get and this is actually one of them. Uh, all you have to do is just hide a couple little icons and it'll be exactly as mine that you see here. So I'm sorry guys, I tried to get the weak ORs export but I just couldn't. Um, however, I will have the LVUI's export paste bin in the description below. So make sure you check out that and go to the paste bin if you want your UI to look just like mine. Alright guys, have a great night. Peace.